<sighs> oh, gameplay spotlight. Out with the old, in with the new. Welcome one and all to season 2024. We've got quite a few changes to share, from terrain adjustments to new monsters and items. Ready to see what's coming? Let's uh, get into it. I'm really, but I'm really. Not really, actually. No, I'm not ready at all. Wait, where are we? Oh, it's top lane. These walls are different, and would you look at that? The brush is now in the middle of the river. Bro, I don't even care. Like, whatever. Like, change it, whatever. Bro, these guys have such... They have such a hard time balancing the game as it is in the current map state. Imagine when it's in a brand new state. Like, it's gonna, like... Uh... Well, that'll make for a trickier gank path from jungle, so you top laners can focus more on your lane opponent instead of hungry junglers. We've got terrain changes across the entire map that on your top bush because it lets you ward further out. You can see them sooner. Because right now, if you like, it's hard to walk top lane. You only get one ward, pretty much. So you, sometimes you would ward try, but they would come from river. But if you were to ward this bush right here, you wouldn't get insta vision if they come out of this. Now you get like insta vision. So I don't actually understand the instead bush. of hungry junglers. And then it's not just that. We've got terrain. It's not just that. Which sweeper kills any of this anyway. So jungler will like sweep a ward in this bush that's here now and just like sit there. Now they can't sit there. Now they can sit here, which is further. So I actually kind of like this, this this bush right here. I'm not gonna lie. Top laners can focus more on your lane opponent instead of hungry junglers. We've got terrain changes across the entire map actually. Like in mid lane, the brush is farther back from the lane now and we've adjusted the walls to both red and blue side for better symmetry. Uh, these, these bush, honest to God, these bush changes not don't, these, these seem pretty good, I'm not going to lie. First glance, junglers, it makes the jungle pressure a lot less. I kind of like these bush changes, not going to lie. As of 4, 50 seconds into the video. Overall, these adjustments should make it a little safer to play I'm not sure about champions these. in mid lane. Especially I'm those mages with zero damage. Speaking of safety, we've also changed the walls opposite Baron and Dragon Pit for a bit more security while you're moving between lanes through the jungle. That's odd. Finally, in bot lane, there's a new gank path on red side to make the map more symmetrical. We've also shifted the brush to the middle of the river, so both teams can more reasonably fight for I'm not control. sure. Look I don't know if I like bot shit and then the, wa the walls. I don't know if I like that. I think it's just different. I don't know. I'm down there. I'm... Baron and Dragon Pit. Speaking of... I kind of don't like safety. The we've also changed... I kind of don't like that. Change the walls. Or the one in mid lane. Opposite Baron and... New Dragon Pit for a bit more security while you're moving between lanes through the jungle. Finally, in bot lane, there's a new gank path. Wait a minute. Wasn't I always crying about build the wall? Wasn't I always saying that? Build the wall, build the wall. Bro, I think they actually took my advice. On red side to make the map more symmetrical. We've also shifted the brush to the middle of the river so both teams can more reasonably fight for vision control. Look alive down there. Omar, what's up, bro? New jungle paths aren't the only thing to keep your eye on this season. A new void monster has Whoa! found its way to the rift. During the early game, a camp of three void grubs will now spawn inside the Baron Pit. When you attack a grub, smaller void mites appear to join the fight. Killing one of the void grubs grants a permanent buff to your entire team that deals damage over time when attacking turrets. For every grub you slay, the buff becomes more powerful. After the first three grubs are killed, three more will spawn a few minutes later. If your team manages to kill all six, then you unlock the maximum buff. When you attack a turret, you'll apply the damage over time and spawn some void mites of your own to help take it down. Keep in mind- What is this? So this is a perma buff. Uh, this is, uh, right now the big thing is top lane is, um, they don't have, they just have rift where bot lane has all the dragons. So I think they're trying to balance it out. And that these grubs are an incremental camp, not all or nothing. So slaying even one can give your team a small boost and keep the enemy from collecting all six. Yeah. When did they spawn? At 14 minutes, any remaining grubs disappear and the beloved Rift Herald enters the game okay, with a fresh new look. Maybe they're born with it. Maybe it's the hideously vile influence of the void from whence they came. If you slay the Herald, that you voice can... line was like recorded separately. That low. Maybe it's the hideously Rift Herald enters the game. And that in post production, by the way. With a fresh new look. Maybe they're born with it. Maybe it's the look at that hideously <laughs> vile Herald. They had to do a the couple takes of that a one. <laughs> Maybe they're born with it. Maybe it's the hideously vile influence of the void from whence they came. If you slay the Herald, you can summon them as before to march down lane and whack turrets. Or any member of your team can hop on board to play Summoner's Drift. 
steering the monster as they charge forward like a battle sled. Ramming Harold into a turret this way deals some extra damage, and you can run into enemy champions to damage and knock them up. You can Un put on a Halloween costume. Uh, it's called Rift Harold. What the fuck? Collision with terrain. You can get inside Rift Harold. What? In or a turret, the driver pops out near. They got this idea, by the way, from arena mode, the sled for sure. What the fuck, bro? What? Is this the same game? Bye. And the ability to steer goes on cooldown. This cooldown resets if you hit a turret, but takes longer if you hit a. Oh, a Nexus Blitz. It was in first. Oh, I didn't know that. So they probably added that to arena and the Nexus Blitz. Ah, bro, they use these. They take. They add stuff from these four fun game modes directly into the game all the time, by the way. All of Bro, I'm not kidding. Sooner or later, we're going to get Earth Cannons on Summoner's Rift. Sort of God. Board the Shelly Demolition Train. Now let's talk about... What was that? <laughs> Baron <laughs> Nasher, Voidborn Tyrant of the Rift, is back and badder than ever before. When he enters the game, you'll know it. Baron takes one of three forms when he emerges. The wall now? Each form provides the same classic buff, but alters how he fights and determines the shape of his pit. Huh? But wait, there's more. With Baron's entrance, the Void's influence spreads across the map, infusing the Scuttle Crab, Brambleback, and Sentinel with dark power. Voidborn Scuttle Crab becomes tankier and tougher to kill. On death, she sends out a massive burst like a Scryer's Bloom, revealing all enemy champions and wards in a large area. Bet you didn't see that coming. Likewise, the Voidborn Red and Blue buff require a little more muscle to take down, but in exchange, they grant the buff to every teammate who's alive at the time. So no more fighting over who gets blue buff, all right? Uh, so no more fighting over who gets down, but in exchange, they grant the buff to every teammate who's alive at the time. So no more fighting over who gets blue buff, all right? That's crazy. This game's crazy. Speaking of cool new buffs, let's talk Infernal Rift. All versions of the Elemental Rift have been refreshed to accommodate the new base terrain, with Mountain Rift losing a few walls that didn't quite fit anymore. But we've changed up Infernal Rift completely. We don't have gameplay footage quite ready at this time, so let me nice, paint nice. you a word picture. Instead of a burned out fire escape, Infernal Rift will scatter Infernal- what, by the way, if you get caught in, in- If you get caught in River now and you aren't like one of the 200 experienced champions that doesn't have a wall jump, you're just dead, apparently. Apparently you're stuck in God. Cinders all across the map. Picking up these cinders gives a small burst of move speed and a stat buff. On death, half your collected cinders explode out for others to snag for themselves. I mean, you weren't using them anymore, right? As in years past, we've made some item adjustments for this new season. Like, a lot of adjustments. For one, mythic items are out. Gone. Poof. In their place, we're adding, removing, and updating a bunch of items across several champion classes. Mages, assassins, tanks, enchanters. They're not gonna be able to be able to, they're not gonna be able to balance them. <laughs> but they're not gonna be able to see that's a problem. All this new shit, it's just gonna replace it. They're not gonna be able to balance it, bro. Fighters and marksmen will It's gonna be broken for months and months and months. Just like Duskblade and Holebreaker and Divine and Etc. Etc. For that's been like that forever, bro. We'll all notice quite a few changes when they gear up this season. For example, the new storm surge for those AP assassins and burst mages who really want to shock the enemy. In addition, we've overhauled the support quest items. Supports now have a singular item they pick up at the start of the game with minimal stats. You earn gold with this item by executing minions of any type for a flat amount, or hitting enemy champions with abilities or attacks. At the middle tier, you unlock refilling wards as before. And when you reach the final tier, you can choose between several upgraded items to suit your playstyle. Whether you prefer protecting your carry or more aggressive support tactics, we've got you covered. While you're running around the new map with new monsters and new items, you should keep an eye out for old grudges. We've added a handful of champion quests that will trigger when certain champs are in the same game. Roar! Defeating your quest rival on the enemy team will grant a tiny buff. While it won't significantly impact the game, it'll be a nice reward for your Renekton mains to finally stick it to <laughs> Many of the changes we've made this year are aimed at making gameplay mechanics and systems easier to understand. This goal includes a lot of adjustments mentioned previously. Wait. The mechanics and systems oh, to understand. Our class, no this AP, goal the includes a lot of adjustments of mentioned years? previously, or smaller changes like simplified tooltip language. We also just want to make it feel better to be on the rift. Listen closely, and you might notice the music changing throughout the game. Strong, it's 120 AP. Wait, so, wait, does it give MR an armor, though? Because they added MR. 
No, just armor. Okay. Based on where you are or what you're doing. Listen closely and you might notice the music changing throughout the game based on where you are or what you're doing. Like Aaron RootScape! Area-based music. Boss music, anyone? And now you can celebrate or commiserate with your teammates in a language everyone understands. My the shit! Fist bump. Okay, that was a lot to cover. Language everyone understands. The fist bump. But, but, but what if we were on comms and we like made a good play and get this, we just said, good job. What about that? Yo, good job. Oh, that would be f a, a great language. Nice work. And then if you fucked up, it'd just be like, get camera, right? <laughs> Wait a minute. Where's the down? Can I down vote, bro? Okay, that was a lot to cover. In summary, new terrain means new gang path in every lane. Void grubs and I was thinking you can now drive over. In summary, new terrain means. Okay, that was a lot to cover. In summary, new Did he, like drop his headset. New terrain means new gang path in every lane. Void grubs and I was thinking you can now drive the Rift Herald into battle. Baron looks scarier and the void is everywhere. Oh, Infernal Rift is totally changing. There's a bunch of new items. Some champs are bringing their beef onto the Rift and fist bumps explode into sparkles button. and fireworks. Whew. Got all that? Good. If you want all Good the nitty-gritty details, we unpack everything in the article linked below. So study up, friends, and we'll see you in January when season 2024 kicks off. That's right, there's no free season. Well. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, everything that you've gotten used to is now gone. That's right. Also, what's going on here? I mean, bro, it doesn't look bad. Like, honestly, the bush, I think the bush changes are the best changes. That little shit relieves so much jungle pressure. That might not be bad. We'll see. I don't know. Like I said, I don't really care what the numbers say. I, I'll, I need to play it a few times. The problem is, I have no faith in these guys being able to balance anything. They can't balance the game that's been almost the same for God knows how long. How are they going to balance completely new shit with the new map, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera? I don't think. I don't know, bro. Like, I don't know. That's why. I, they, they haven't earned my uh, optimism. You know what I mean?